Yo, what is up, YouTube? It's your boy B. Scott back with another video. Out here in, I believe I'm in DC right now, in the Inner Harbor is what they call it. But uh, randomly got taken to the Universal Soul Circus. So we just out here about to go check it out. Just got here, it took a while. Crazy, crazy uh, thunderstorm. As you can see, the clouds are still kind of black and grayish, but yeah, this is the, uh, I actually been to this one time before and, and it was actually a good experience. So uh, hopefully, you know, it's another good experience. I'm pretty sure all the whole, the whole thing is probably updated. You know, I've seen clips before of the updated routines and things like that. So uh, this is definitely gonna be a good experience. I don't know if I'm a pig out because none of the food is healthy here, but you know, I'm trying to get my six pack back, but I might have to uh, dive into that funnel cake because I can't, I just can't do it. Funnel cake is one of my favorites. Especially when it's just like the normal funnel cake, just uh, funnel cake and the, the 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 sugar, no strawberries, no nothing. But uh, yeah, we're about to go buy the tickets or get the tickets or whatever, and uh, we're gonna go in the show. I'm trying to get some footage. Hopefully, you can film in there. I'm pretty sure you can film in there. But other than that, all right, guys, stay tuned. All right.
Yo, what is going on guys? So it's another beautiful day out here in Maryland, uh, be, Baltimore County to be exact. Um, so this is a conclusion to yesterday's video when somebody surprised me with a trip over to Universal Soul Circus. I had an awesome, awesome time. Uh, I literally haven't done that or been there since I was, I think my first time going was in like junior high or somewhere around there. But anywho, I'm just out here chilling right now. Today I didn't do, do much. Well, I did do a lot, honestly. No, I'm talking about like actually getting out of the house. I didn't do much because I had to do a all day seminar um, for a, a real estate investment uh, pro, uh, assistance program. So being out here and being savvy and learning different ways to actually acquire properties, I came across a program out here in the Baltimore area that literally has the ability to, I don't wanna say, cause I don't wanna get, like information wrong, but you could almost end up only paying like a few thousand dollars. Uh, that's including closing costs, uh, down payment, um, uh, what else? Any other thing like that you have to pay during the process, you damn near probably will only pay around twenty five hundred to three thousand dollars. So that opposed to being in Los Angeles, California, and paying over maybe 30,000, 40,000, even higher to, buy, to get a property. So I came across that program. And so, like I said, you have to be there and you have to do an all day seminar, not all day, but I, um, what is it? Nine to three seminar. And then it's, it's on zoom. At least luckily you have to go in anywhere and then you get a certificate that you did the program or whatever. And you start to start the process after that. So I literally was in the house all day doing that. Um, now about to just go to the grocery store do a few other things um I got a friend's birthday party tomorrow to go to um but other than that yeah man i'm just chilling but like i said you know me this pro my page is all about giving information and sharing information you know and just sharing my lifestyle in general um you know not the most lavish as of right now i don't i don't think i ever will be a flashy person no matter what like even when i have nice things i don't really show them um but trying to get my, my butt out the sun but i just want to show lifestyle i just want to show you know what the day-to-day -day life of a real estate investor um somebody that owns a str business which is short-term rental business and to kind of like just give a real perspective on what it is you know not, not saying that my my perspective is the only perspective and i'm not that you know naive or i'm not that type of person that's not my that's not my personality but um yeah honestly so I'll, I think the, honestly, the, the way I'll end this video today is literally just showing you guys or giving you guys my experience on why, like I said, why I came to Baltimore and knowing or um, searching for real estate out here and in surrounding areas. And the number one is because of programs like that, that I just, uh, that I just did this morning. There's a lot of other states right now that are surrounding. So like I said, I'm in Maryland right now. So you have uh, you have Pennsylvania, which is close. You have um, uh, Delaware, which is close. You have Ohio. You have um, South Carolina, North Carolina. You have, uh, of course, Washington. You have, uh, uh, of course, you have Virginia and a few other places. And I know specifically in a few other areas like this, they have a lot of different programs where, you know, it's like, it's like, like I got to say, in Los Angeles or, or states on the West Coast, it might be a lot harder because it's a, you know, it's a doggy dog world out there. They're not looking for people to buy properties in, in, in California. They're looking for people, well, not what assistance, I should say. I, there, there are very few assistance programs in California um, or even even in uh, Arizona or Nevada, even for that for that matter, because it's like, also the economies are different, you know what I'm saying? So it's like people have bigger money out there. People have a, have a lot more opportunity to purchase out of pocket than out here. So uh, yeah, I mean, again, you gotta get it by any means necessary. So if you have to honestly um, go to another state to get into real estate, then do that. I was fortunate enough to have property already in Los Angeles. So that gives me a leg up, but it's like, you know, times right now where the properties the properties aren't that um, let's say worth it that's what I mean like you have certain properties in LA right now that are fixer-uppers 
or that are full full flips and they honestly are just like maybe I want to say in, in value they'll, they'll be like 500 600,000 you know what I'm saying and you have people that are fixing them up and selling them for a million dollars but at the end of the day Fast. But at the end of the day, that doesn't mean that they're worth a million dollars. Um, I know for sure there's a property that just sold on my block where my property is, and I had the opportunity to try to acquire it, but it didn't go through. And I actually was a friend of the family, um, a younger guy I watched kind of like grow up. His auntie owned the house that his grandparents had um, had owned before they passed away, and so we were looking to try to get the property. You know, didn't go through whatever have you. And I think they ended up selling it because it had, um, I want to say it had a foreclosure on it, but um, anywho, they, I think they ended up selling it for like 600,000, something like that. And that's all they could get for it, or 600,000. And then I see it on the market right now at 900,000. So it's like, even if that investor put in, let's say, you know, 150 in that property, now you up to like 800,000, they're still making a $100,000 profit on that property you know so things like that in, in california are yes it's faster to make your money as far as like um let's say uh, uh like one lump sum but also our taxes too so taxes are crazy so on that one hundred thousand, it don't really end up being a hundred thousand because you have so many taxes then you're splitting that with people you got to pay your contractors all that other stuff um you know closing costs when you when you uh when you try to when you sell a house all that stuff so like I said, again, it's all about perspective. You know, if it works for you and you have something and you, and, and you have a, a method that's working for you and it works, then, you know, go ahead and get your, get your bread. Um, but if you also want to come out to a place like this where you can buy 20 units and now you have 20 doors on one property and they're all paying you, let's say, $600, $700 in, in, in rent a month. Like that and the... I'm gonna say lackadaisical, but there's just a lot less rules when you come out here. I trust me, it is. It's a lot less. When you go around and see properties, not saying that you wanna be a slumlord, but it's just less hassle to do things. It's less hassle to build. Like I would love to show you guys, I'm gonna show you guys this view uh, that I'm at, I'm at right now. So that's a whole housing community over there. That's another one over here. And then behind this one, actually all the way over that way, it's another one they're building right now. So I was just here. Um, here in um, Baltimore County, I was just here. What was that? I want to say a week and a half ago. Uh, yeah, like two weeks, basically, almost two weeks. I was here, and they had the uh, the structures and all that stuff um, of one building already had. To, uh, I mean, um, already put up. So then they had the rest of the lumber just ready to build the rest of the properties. By the time I got back, they had already put up the framing for the next property. That's in two weeks. You would never see that in Los Angeles or and on West Coast in general. So I'm not saying that I'm not there, that I'm not going to buy there. But as far as knowing when to buy other places and then when to take that money back home, that's where I'm at right now. So that's why I'm super heavy out here. Um, and I just like the change of weather, too, man. Like I said, the lifestyle part of it, like, you know, you live in Los Angeles all your life. You just have constant, constant sun, which sounds awesome until it's just like, damn, you know, I miss the rain or like the breeze right now coming in, you know, cause it just rained last night. Crazy storm, by the way, uh, you know, stay safe out there. Cause it's definitely different weather. Like we don't know rain and storms in, in California compared to out here. I supposedly some people got hurt in DC yesterday or something like that. But uh, yeah, like I said, uh, I'm gonna keep on walking through this complex right now. This is what I hope, this is what I aspire to be able to build one day. And this is just mailbox money. People just paying you rent because you got a nice big location. And like I said, the land, if you buy land, that's another route to go. So, but anywho, yeah, that's what, that's what I'm saying right now. Like, I'm just like, once I get my first property out here, it's just snowball effect because the properties are so much cheaper. Like I had a duplex in, this, in, a, in, a, in a part of the um, Baltimore County that's called Townsend. I had a duplex that I was looking at, um, or I went to go see, it was really nice. It was an, it's a college town over there. Uh, the property was only like 200, maybe 40,000, I believe, something like that. Um, had an upstairs tenant already, so the downstairs would have just been the one to rent out. So 
things like that. It's like, you know, you think about that mortgage. That mortgage is only somewhere around, I want to say 1400 maybe, 1300 something like that. You know, so if you're taking, again, if you take into account that you got one person upstairs paying maybe six to 700, 700 a month, then the next person downstairs, they're paying the mortgage right there. Say, now you're not gonna be making crazy bank when it comes to, you know, how much you're profiting in your in your, in your pocket, but you have somebody paying off a mortgage for you, which then allows you to take that equity or just take that fact that you have a, a have a that you do have a property and go get another one because now banks see that you're you know basically paying off a mortgage which is the big part of it you know especially when you're first getting into this game so yeah man like i said i'm just going to continue to keep on going and pushing you know no matter what route it is no matter how many people i come in contact with you know that are that are you know, open to doing open to doing business with me and networking or not that's why i said that's why i took my shifted myself and went to another state um because la i saw it i saw it, saw it kind of drying up you know people are still doing a lot of flips out there don't get me wrong um, a lot of people i was around just doing doing awesome work but it was just like for me personally i wasn't having the results that i wanted so it's like you go what do you what, do you, what are you going to do stay somewhere where you're not getting the results and just complain or are you going to move around you know and get out of your comfort zone so that's what i'm doing out here getting out of my comfort zone I even making my YouTube channel and, and making content again. Um, that's what it's all about for me right now. It's just getting out of my comfort zone, staying out of my comfort zone so that I never get comfortable and I never settle for anything besides what I deserve and what I want. And especially when you see views like this, like tell me that ain't beautiful. Like that's something you don't see in Los Angeles, not unless you go up into the mountains, like Mount Whitney or something like that. But again, like I said too, I, I mean, I love Los Angeles. It's my home. Um, never get tired of it, as far as like for life. But I think the world is is, is a beautiful place. The world is my home. So um, yeah, man. Like I said, uh, I just wanted to end this video because, like I said, I had an awesome time yesterday over in uh, um, D.C. at the uh, Universal Soul Circus, and that was an awesome time. I guess I haven't been there for in a while, so I'm also going to put some. Con I also have some, uh, some some footage of that. I'll put some uh the clips a few of the clips that i um did take while i was there because i was actually having too much fun to even record that much but the biggest part was the motorcycles because if anybody knows me they know i've been a dirt bike boy uh just a motorcycle kid since i was born so when they came in they added the the motorcycles doing the um the, free, the, free, the freestyle motocross jump at the end took me out that's all i needed my day was complete that's all i needed so i might have footage of that stuff in here too but uh, yeah, man, like I said, I appreciate the people that are following and that, you know, definitely as I continue to build and, and grow more and more, I'll have more followers and all that other stuff. And I'll just continue to keep on giving my experiences and my knowledge of this world, this real estate world and just lifestyle in general. So with that being said, like, subscribe and follow. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. All right.